A lot of big matchups this weekend and we start with the undefeated Pandas volleyball team hosting the 15 and 1 Spartans. The sets were close but the Pandas pulled off the 4 set victory in front of a loud crowd at home led by May Casol's 17 kills and Mariah Walsh's 44 assists. Rookie Vanessa Jarman added 13 kills in the win. The team followed that game with another fantastic performance on Saturday where the game went all the way to 5 sets. The Pandas found themselves down 12-7 to in the last frame before climbing all the way back to win the set 19-17. to The number one ranked Pandas tied the program record with 16 wins in a row and will host Mount Royal this weekend. The Bears had themselves their own thriller on Friday night, where the back and forth contest ended up in a four set victory for the U of A. Ryan Nikifor led the way with 13 kills, while the Bears scored nine aces in the game. The loss was only the second for the defending national champ Spartans. However, Trinity West got their revenge on Saturday with a 3-0 sweep of the Bears. In the loss, Brett Walsh set the new Canada West record with his 3,655th assist in the first set and will look to add to his record total over the last eight games. The Bears find themselves in third place with a 13-3 record. On the ice, we had a home and home series with Mount Royal and the Pandas played host on Friday. Goals were hard to come by as neither team found the back of the net during regulation, but fans were treated to a double OT winner. Again. Has it deflected? What a save by DeBoville! Are you kidding me? Dylan, top of the circle, fires it, scores! The Pandas followed that up with another 1-0 victory on Saturday, with Kennedy Ganser providing the game winner. The Pandas have won 13 out of the past 14 games, and Lindsey Post and Dana Owen have combined for 8 shutouts this season. The Pandas head to Lethbridge next. The Golden Bears had a massive series with the second place Cougars, who before Friday were up two points on the third place Bears. With the 5-2 win on Friday, where five different scores found the back of the net for the U of A, the two teams were tied in the standings as they headed up to Claire Drake for Saturday's game. It was another great game as the teams traded goals until the third period, where Jason Fram and Rhett Rachinsky sealed the game for the Bears. The U of A now sits in second place and holds the crucial playoff bye with four games left in the season. Thank you.